Hello everyone! Can you guess how I made this little miracle? Looks absolutely incredible, right? But it's just a hologram I created using an ordinary smartphone and some simple materials. Nowadays, everyone has a smartphone. Today I'll show you how easy it is to make such an amazing hologram with your own hands. So, here's the minimal list of things we'll need besides the phone itself. First, a pen or a pencil. Second, a marker. Third, a sharp utility knife. Fourth, scissors. Fifth, tape. And this box will be perfect. From it, I'll cut out a piece of cardboard and take a sheet of transparent film. It's strong and clear exactly what we need. You can also use a cookie box or just thick paper. And where else can you find suitable film? For example, I found some stickers attached to strong transparent film. Many children's toys are packaged in boxes with thick clear film. Same with candy boxes or Christmas decorations. The main rule, the film must be transparent, not cloudy, and strong enough so it doesn't bend under its own weight. Look, I'm holding it with one hand, and it keeps its shape. But this one is too thin, so it won't work. Now let me show you how to make the hologram using a plastic bottle. I used a 2-liter bottle because it's perfect for my big iPhone Pro Max. If your phone is smaller, you can use a 1.5-liter bottle. When choosing a bottle, I paid attention to the upper part from the cap to the label. It's best if there are no curves or patterns, so the surface is smooth and transparent. Here's an example with a textured surface, not the best choice, because there will be more glare and distortion. But if that's all you have, it will still work. To cut the top part evenly, I use a marker and a stand of the right height. I fix the marker with tape so it doesn't move. I put on rubber gloves. It's not necessary, but I don't want fingerprints or smudges on the clear surface. I want it to look perfect. I bring the bottle to the marker and rotate it 360 degrees. That gives me a nice straight line. Then I take a sharp utility knife and make a small cut along the line. Through this cut, I insert scissors and carefully cut off the top part. With scissors, it's cleaner and safer than with the knife. Perfect! If there are any uneven edges, just trim them with scissors. That's how it should look. Let's move on. I take a cloth for cleaning glasses, blow on the plastic, and wipe away fingerprints and smudges. You can also use any cloth for glass surfaces. Even a regular newspaper works great for cleaning and polishing clear plastic. Look how nice and shiny it is. Now I take my box and cut out the film. From the bottom, I also cut a piece of cardboard. Look how clean and transparent this film is. For convenience, I cut it in half. Now I open YouTube on my smartphone. In the search bar, I type hologram video or something similar. I scroll and choose a video, for example, this one with a horse on the thumbnail. And we need to adjust a few settings on the phone. It's highly recommended to lock the screen rotation. And it's absolutely necessary to set the brightness to maximum, that way our hologram will be as bright and colorful as possible. Now I expand the video to full screen and flip it upside down. In this position, I place the smartphone on the table, screen facing up. I place the film onto the screen and we already get a great hologram. But of course, we don't want to hold it in our hands all the time, right? By moving the film up and down, I found that the best reflection angle is about 45 degrees. It can be a little more or less, depending on your viewing height. Now I take our bottle piece. We need to fix the film inside the bottle so that it stands at about a 45 degree angle. Next, I take the cardboard sheet and place the bottle like this. I make marks with a pen or pencil. The third mark is for the width of the bottle. I draw the shape of the piece that should fit inside the bottle at a 45 degree angle. Then I cut it out with scissors. 
Now we try this shape inside the bottle piece. If it doesn't fit, just trim off the excess. I repeat this until it fits perfectly. Finally, the shape fits exactly. I mark the protruding part and cut them off. It should look something like this. Then I take the film, place the cardboard template on it and trace it with a marker. I cut out the same shape on the film. If your marker is permanent, you can easily wipe off the marks with alcohol. I also wipe the film with a cloth again to show you the perfect hologram surface. Look how clean and transparent it is. Now we need to attach it to the bottle. I cut a piece of tape and stick it to the top of the film. I use tweezers so I don't leave cloudy marks from the gloves on the tape. I attach the film to the bottle piece and press it down with something long. For example, the same marker. Now let's fix the film on the sides. A small piece of tape here. And another one here. Perfect, our setup is ready. I turn on a video with a black background. I turn off the extra lights. And I place the container on the smartphone screen. Wow. Just look how amazing this is. The insects look real as if they were placed inside the container, standing on a glass floor. And look at this waterfall, absolutely fantastic. I also decided to show you how to make the same hologram using other simple containers. For this example, I just took what I found at home and thought would work best. First, a regular glass with smooth walls and no texture. This is the shape of the film I got, which I will then attach inside the glass. Next, I'll try a wine glass. It will have its own film shape. As I mentioned earlier, I planned for the film inside to be placed at about a 45 degree angle Third, I found this cup with cotton candy. I want to try using this lid and see what happens. Fourth, I also have a rectangular glass food container. It also has smooth, transparent walls, and I think it will work really well. To cut the film for it, I placed my smartphone on the backside, right in the center, and marked with a marker where the screen is. Now I can cut the film to the right size. So, the items are chosen. I also wiped them with a special cloth. I cleaned all the films that I fixed inside these containers and attached them the same way as in the bottle setup. I used tweezers and gloves to make the result as neat as possible. Now it's time to see what we've got and also to choose the winner. In the comments, be sure to write which container you like the most for the hologram. And now let's check it out. This fish looks very realistic. It really feels like it's swimming in an aquarium. But taller images get cropped at the top and bottom. I think if the container were higher, it would be just perfect. Let's once again compare the hologram in the bottle top. Most of the videos look really good. Some images, however, get cut off at the sides. And this anime girl dancing inside the glass looks almost real, just very tiny. Now let's see how she dances in the wine glass. Yeah, here she looks completely squashed. Maybe I taped the film inside with some bends, or the angle was too small. Now the lid from the cotton candy cup. The fish looks really nice in it, but larger images don't fully fit inside the container. With a smaller smartphone, it would work better. Here are a couple more good videos with this lid. 
In the description below the video, I'll leave links to all the videos I used to demonstrate the holograms. And here are a few more examples without my comments. Enjoy them, and write your ideas in the comments about what else we could use to make such a hologram.